I'm so lucky to have come across Simba. Simba is healthy, has a sound temperament, and is intelligent too. This was possible only because I could connect with a good breeder. It is essential to find a responsible breeder who has the best interests of the dog and you. But how do you find a reputable golden retriever breeder? We will find out in this video of Retriever Care. There are some informal and formal ways to get to know about a breeder. The former includes looking up breeders' information on social media, checking with your friends and colleagues, looking out for dog shows, or chatting up a goldie owner in a park. The latter includes visiting a veterinarian, who generally has contact with good breeders. You will most likely be interacting with a couple of breeders to know who is right for you. To know the authenticity of your breeder, here are a few things to look for. A good breeder will allow you to visit and take a look at the puppy farm. You will notice if the farm is hygienic or not from the appearances of the dogs, the odor, and if the dogs are caged or not. If they are rescheduling or canceling your meets too often, they are probably being unprofessional or are scammers. They will come across as an intelligent breeder who has in-depth knowledge of the breed, their background, temperament, exercise requirements, familiarity with genetic testing, and the interpretation of the test results and their special needs. A genuine breeder values the health and temperament of his dogs above all else. Generally, they will not sound very salesy either, only bragging about the looks, color, size, rarity, etc. They will voluntarily, or when requested, provide relevant documents about the screening done to detect hereditary breed problems in the pup's lineage. A conscientious breeder will breed only as per the biological cycles of the dam and will not readily have a litter of pups from a previous breeding session and will most likely put you on the waiting list. They know it's very important to socialize the pups for them to develop a sound temperament. They also spend sufficient time with each pup and are familiar with their diet and daily routine so that the new owner experiences fewer difficulties in familiarizing the pup. They are closely associated with a known veterinarian and regularly get them vaccinated and dewormed. They will also not hesitate to provide a complete medical record of each pup. They have documentation of pedigree and registration papers readied in your name. They will be as concerned about how you will take care of the dog, how much time you can spend, and most importantly, will sell only to those who he has approved as good pet owners. They will put in place a written contract guaranteeing the pup's health and will also provide a window for a pre-purchase examination by a vet of the owner's choice. They will offer to refund either full or part of the money or take back the pup if hereditary diseases are detected later. Should the new owner find it difficult to keep the pup, they will request to give the option to rehome the dog. Finally, they will be available to answer your queries that may arise even after one has taken the pup home. Even with the above precautions, you may come in contact with an unreliable breeder. Here are some of the points to keep in mind. The first giveaway would be if they do not let you visit their premises and check out the way they operate. If they are quoting a lower price for the pup than the market rates, it's because they have invested very little time and effort in knowing about the breed's ancestry and their health issues. They are willing to sell the pup even when it is five to six weeks old, while the ideal age is at eight weeks. This is when the pup needs to learn to interact with its own siblings and parents. They speak volumes about the somewhat irrelevant traits of their breeds, such as color, size, and their rarity, rather than the health and temperament. They won't be able to share in-depth information about Goldies, simply because they are backyard breeders. They will be unprofessional and novices. They will not have health clearances, no vet records, no contract, no rehoming, and no buyback guarantees. They have no references from their previous clients. If they are new, one can ask for a reference from a professional mentor. I think I've covered all the points that you need to remember before selecting the right breeder. If you find this video helpful, drop a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more Retriever Care videos.